Hello, welcome to the Margin Odd Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Neuralink Elon Musk's brain chips that is working on humans. So let's get into it. I'm going to break it down in this story. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So Neuralink Elon Musk Neural Technology Company revealed during a live stream on Wednesday that a 29-year-old man who was paralyzed after a diving accident is the first human to have received its brain chip implant. The patient, Nolan... Arbaugh, hopefully I'm saying the uh, last name right, said during the live stream on X, Musk's uh, social media company, that the chip was not perfect, but it had already added many improvements to his life, such as giving him the ability to play video games for hours without having to rely on help from his family. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. He then goes on to say, it's not perfect, Arbal said. I would say we have run into some issues. I don't want people to think that this is the end of the journey. There's a lot of work to be done, but it has already changed my life. Bliss Chapman, an engineer at Neuralink, joined Arbal for the live stream. The company launched in 2016 and has been working on a chip implant that could allow people to control computers with their brains. So this is... I don't know if you guys heard about this, but, you know, <laughs> the, the the stories that I'm hearing, you know, some people are saying that, you know, they're, you know, once they, you know, they were once blind and they put it on. Now they're, they can see. It's, wow. You know, Musk first announced on January that Neuralink had implanted one of its chips into a human for the first time following several years of tests conducted on animals. Those animal experiments had been the subject of scrutiny after the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, which is a medical ethics group, accused the company of putting monkeys through, and this is a statement, we have a statement, right? Extreme suffering as a result of inadequate animal care and the highly invasive experimental head implants during the experiments. Okay, that... <laughs> That's that's what they said. And from a cybersecurity perspective, what do you think this technology, what are the vulnerabilities you think poses? So PCRM asked the U.S. regulators to investigate Musk for securities fraud after he posed on X that no monkey has died as a result of a Neuralink implant. Musk later said that Neuralink's facilities were like monkey paradise. Do you guys believe them? Do you guys don't? PCRM said in a letter to the SEC that here's a statement and it reads Musk knows that to be false, right? <laughs> the SEC has not indicated whether it's investigating Neuralink. During the live stream, Arbaugh sat in a specialized chair in front of a laptop. He appeared to be playing a game of chess while his hands remain remained on the armrest of the chair. And uh, Peter, if you find a clip, you can put that on the screen. So uh, you know, the viewers can see and we have a statement and it reads, I love playing chess. And so this one of the things that you, you'll, you know, y'all have enabled me to do something that I wasn't able to really do much the last few years, especially not like this. He said, I had to use a mouse stick and stuff, but now it's all about, you know, it's all being done with my brain. Arbol said he had dislocated parts of his spinal cord in a freak diving accident about eight years ago that left him paralyzed from below the shoulders okay his condition limited his ability to play his favorite video game and we have a statement and it's which was like a civil civilization five uh no civil, civilization four sorry because he could only play a few hours at a time before he would need help from his family to readjust his seated seated position and here's a statement. I had basically given up on playing that game, he said, adding that it's a big game that requires a lot of time sitting still. I have to worry about a lot of things, getting pressure sores and things like that. So I just wasn't really able to play it as much as I wanted to. With the chip, Arbal said he has been able to play the video game for several hours without lying in his bed. Arbo Arbaugh noted that the biggest restriction so far was having to charge the implant after playing video games for a long time. So that's what I have for you today. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership and support. Stay safe. See you in the next video.